excuse my awful hair, it's because of this. I wore a hat in this video. Sorry. Hey YouTube, this is Paul Oz. Just wanted to make a quick video on how to produce your sound to make yourself sound the best that you can sound. It's a lot of sounds. So, what do I mean by that? I mean having a process in which you eliminate what is bad in your music or what perhaps is not good or the best in your music and making it so that you have a solid amount of songs for your album or release or whatever you're planning on doing. An example of a process, the process that I used, I decided to make a second part in my little series of albums and I called it Land of Secrets and I got artwork done before most of the music was written because I need artwork to stimulate some inspirational juices and from there I ended up making 20 to 30 demos and that's just my process and from those demos I ended up making some really I think my best work so far uh, and that's really what you want to do when it comes to your album you want it to be your best work your opus your you know the best work that you've ever done you know the best work that you've ever done just on an album and in order to produce yourself effectively, you have to live with a, you have to live and, and learn and hear with an unbiased ear and most of your influences because your influences are gonna they're gonna show the most probably. Um, hopefully, you know we all strive for originality, but um, you know your influences are what they are. So, so what I end up doing is after I have these 30 demos, I start to see what parts stick, what parts need improving, and, and where does that take me, and what parts can be kind of melded together, and where was I mentally in the headspace there, right? And it's just a matter of trying to identify what it is in that part that you love so much, and then pairing it with another demo that you might have written around the same time, which had the same kind of feeling, either it's like a negative emotion, let's say you were focused upon a mourning of, of a lost loved one or something like that, you know, whatever it might be. The point is to encapsulate that that moment in feeling and emotion. And of course music being the purest way to do that other than bawling your eyes out or, or jumping for joy or whatever, you know, next to emotion, I think it's the next best thing truly. Uh, as an art form for sure it does that, right, for millions of people around the world. So that's kind of what I'd say in terms of producing yourself. It's really hard to produce oneself. Like it's usually impossible and a lot of people consider it egotistical and all that. For me it's more like I wrote my 20, 30 demos, listened to a few of them on repeat because I was like, okay, that's good, I gotta remember that. But then I'd forget about them for a little while. A few of them I completely forget about for years almost, you know, like I've had moments where I've gone back to old songs and been inspired by this old idea I had, which now that I'm more musically evolved I can actually expand upon and make a little bit cooler. So that's, you know, that's the way that I like to do things. I, I like to get inspired from from myself because that way you really are creating out of yourself. You, you make something that might be really heavily influenced by dream theater. A couple years later you come back to it you're like, oh yeah, but what if I did this now that I know this other guitar technique and mixing technique and all of a sudden you've got something that's really beginning to flow and breathe life. The original idea might have been inspired by a favorite artist, but now you've started to put your own spin on things and different mixing tips you heard from another guy on this other gent band might be able to flow with this or maybe that rap artist had a really cool syncopated idea that you really wanted to incorporate somewhere and this was the right melody for it. You know. It's just about bringing things together from your own palette of, of paint sort of thing and, and making it happen. Like, you know, gotta sit at the computer for the eight hours, you know, and just kind of start to amalgamate and, and see where you're coming from. And in that way, people can develop genres. It's funny how this went from producing to developing your own kind of thing, right? Anyway, so it's all kind of cohesive in that sense because eventually, once you have, you know, at least in my case, I was inspired by the artwork, the themes, the storyline I developed behind the artwork and behind the story of the songs and where it moves in terms of the linear uh, story, it starts to really come together. And now I've got something which is kind of like extreme progressive metal, which is probably the best way to call it. Um, it's instrumental, but you know that doesn't mean to say that I'll never use vocals in a song or two, right? Or I might collaborate. And that's where another th great thing happens, right? Collaborations also 
turn into a bit of a producing lesson because you you get told about your songs from someone else's ears and perspective and their own background that's probably the most important thing to self-produce you don't actually really do it at least if you really want to get things done straight away you got to go to other people and be like so what do you think of this what what do you like about what they say about your music what do you dislike what do you need to work on you can really gauge it it's kind of like making your own report card in high school or something like that you just decide okay this is what's good and this is what's crap and this is what I resonate with and this is what excites me and trying to be true to that so hope this is that this was informative and I hope that you enjoyed this video click subscribe if you feel like it and um, yeah a few more videos like these in the future on the way also for those of you who care I'm starting a uh, another little side thing called Iron Goliath Productions it's to do with game music I like to write uh, different kinds of music for different things and this is uh, completely different to my own uh, instrumental metal stuff this is a uh, just like soundtracky stuff that I you know I wanna write for games that even already have uh, soundtracks I just wanna get into that a little bit it's an exciting world because then everything plays together and it's all cohesive in this wonderful world of creation mm -hmm.